Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today I have seafood. I have snow crabs, shrimp back here, um, mussels, and asparagus. And this is just butter sauce that I made. And I also have some eating pretty sauce. So I'm just going to do a one, two, three combo. Let's get... um. Uh, our blessing in and I'm going to eat a little bit then I'm going to give you the scripture of the day and then I'm going to talk about um, the Lifetime movie The Clark Sisters. So let's eat. Father God, I thank you now for this uh, food. Let it be nourished to my body, God. Father God, I bless, I ask that you uh, look over everybody all over this land and country uh, with this pandemic that's going on. God, I ask that you just give them the uh, essentials that they need, food, clothes, shelter, God. Father God, I ask that you just calm our spirits and our hearts and um, let us get a lesson out of this. Let us learn from this. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Let's eat. Let's eat. I got some asparagus. Mmm. Mmm. What I did with the asparagus, I um cooked them in the um water that I did the seafood. Mm. So good. Let me see how this tastes. Mmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Had to get some vegetables in. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Muscle, muscle, muscle. I pray everybody's doing well. Mm. I'm just drinking water. It's so sad what's going on. It's just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Let's get us a scripture in. <clears throat> scripture of the day or verse of the day. And it comes from Philippians 1 and 9. 1, 9 through 10. And it says, And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment that you may approve things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense to the day of Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be sincere. Mm. This is so good. So, <clears throat> how many of y'all watched the Clark Sisters? It was so good, y'all. I didn't think it was going to be good because, let's just be honest. Sometimes, lifetime get it wrong. Y'all know they do. Sometimes they get it wrong, but... I gotta give them an A on this. It was really good. It really was. And people don't realize the struggle. Like you see, like movies, like behind the music, um, unsung. You know all those type of movies, and they don't think that. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. It's pretty soft. People don't think that the 
gospel artists go through stuff like that. I mean, because they're human. We're human. We go through, you know, everyday stuff, just like everybody else. Everyday things. And all the things that they had to endure. To um, be where they are today. Because the Clark sisters are legendary. You brought the sunshine. I'm telling you. They are legendary. And. And to think that. People like Queen Latifah, Mary J. Blood, and Missy Elliott. They jumped on board and they the one produced it. Come on, you know, legendary. Because the thing that what what they have accomplished cannot be denied. They are legendary. And so we open up with us learning about their life and that's what I like you know you start getting to know who they were first you know in the struggles they had to go through and then you got a glimpse of their success they really didn't even show a lot of their successes and I'm sure I'm sure that was intentional you know I'm sure that was intentional, but in the movies, uh, it showed that how they struggled and how their mom, you know, was in this abusive relationship. No, in this abusive marriage, you know. Ugh. And how she had to come out of it and being a uh, being a part of a Kojic which is Church of God in Christ organization and they were real street, you know. You couldn't wear pants and they really wanted you to be silent. Like you didn't they didn't want you women to say a lot. So kudos, I mean, to um Dr. Maddie Moss called everybody being funny about it, but she did not play. When she uh when she didn't when I said it when they said Joe Jackson they had nothing on her. Joe Jackson didn't have nothing on her. And then her husband told her, You trying to make these girls to be the Jackson Five. She said, No, we better than the Jackson Five. I mean it was really good. And the struggle of their mom trying to find her identity and make a name for herself in the Kojic um, organization. And they didn't want her to be a part of what what her daughters were doing. They didn't want her to sing with, you know, sing with the girls. I mean, as women... We've come a long way. For real. We've come a long way. And in the group that had problems just like everybody else. You know, couldn't really get along. And everybody wanted different things, you know, in life. Just like any other group or any other family. 
They struggle to stay together. They struggle to um, get the best, you know, record deal. And people are taking advantage of them. It was a very inspirational story. You know, a lot of people kind of talk about how they did. One of the sisters, um, but guess what? How many of them have family that don't don't see, excuse me, don't see eye to eye? No. How many? So um all of, about everybody got some family member that don't wanna do right. You know? Or no, I'll take that back. Cause it wouldn't even affect that she didn't want to do right. She felt like she was invisible or she didn't matter. And I'm trying to think of her name. Because I remember looking it up and I was like, well, what happened to her? And, um, you know, where, where is she now? Surely she had to tell her part, you know, because she had to sign off on the movie. So it had to be some type of truth in there, you know, Denise, that was her name. Her name was Denise. And she just was, you know, she was getting pregnant and they just felt like she really wasn't interested in the in the group anymore. But it's the same way any other group or any other family. You go off, I mean, you want to go off and do your own things. And uh, they did um, go off and um, did solo stuff and... I can't pronounce that lady's name. And Angel something. But her name Ellis. Um lately she's been playing a lot of movies on on Lifetime. But she played that she played Dr. Maddie Moss and she killed. She killed it. She killed it. Uh, everybody was good. The vocals was good. And Kiki Shears, she played her own mom, Karen. She did really, really good. She really did. And she said she had to audition. It wasn't just given to her because it was her mom or her auntie's movie. So, I really enjoyed it. I really, yeah.
But I'm one of those ones that love to love to see and hear stories. I love a good documentary. I love a good interview. Uh I've always been like that. Like, I can just sit and watch interviews. I mean, for real. Especially if it's people that's changing the world and making a difference. And that come from nothing. I literally can I can watch. Mm. Interview after interview. Y'all, this is so good. And I'm sure uh, <clears throat> Lifetime gonna, you know, play it over and over again. So, if you have not watched, make sure you watch it. Make sure you watch it. Make sure you watch it. I think um, if this wasn't going on, I think it would have did good in the theaters. I really do. Because over 3 million people tuned in to watch it. So, I think that would be good. All right, here we go. This is so good. And you are, and you know the music the music was fire. Um maybe because everybody was at home. So many people got a chance to really not be busy, you know? And just pay attention and watch, you know? These asparagus are really good. <clears throat> I think it's a um it could be a substitute of freshness, like if you don't have the cucumbers, <clears throat> it could be a substitute. I 
I'm really loving this. Um, this eating pretty soft. I really am. Which is really good. They want to come out. Come out of there. Come on. You're going to try to break up. That's fine. Still going to get that. Mm -mm. I think I got some on my shirt. What y'all think about this hair? I really don't want to <clears throat> wear it like this too often because of the colors like a little bit too um too light for me but I've been really wearing it like in ponytail <clears throat> that's why I'm also been doing Wearing it in a ponytail. Wearing it in a ponytail, girlfriend. I be uh, like loving to get the meat at this knuckle. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have like the Weak as birds. My husband, he go down, he go down to his toes, baby, with his birds. And I be looking at him like, be mad, honey, because I can't get a good bird. Ain't that beautiful? Baby, I'm going to need a bottle of uh, sitting in my gut. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it all out. I'm going to try... Uh, This with some uh, in pretty sauce. Mm. Mm. It like it changed the taste of its experience. Nope, we'll stick to the seafood. <laughs> mm -mm. We'll stick to the seafood on that. And this for the butter, butter and garlic sauce. Mmm. Mmm. I got um, a lot of garlic in there. See that? See that garlic? Mm. Okay. 
getting full enough. I'm getting full. I'll probably eat this later for a snack. I got um <clears throat> catfish. Taken out for dinner. Have for dinner. Catfish. I might tell my husband to bring on um, from some stuff to make baked potato. Well. I got the baked potato. I got the potatoes. I just need. I think I need some more uh, sour cream. I need some cheese. That's <clears throat> um. Uh, Don't forget if you ever if you haven't watched <clears throat> the Clark Sisters on Lifetime, make sure you go watch it. I mean, awesome cast, awesome music, inspiring story. If you have not watched it, make sure you tune in to Lifetime to watch it because it was really really good. Thank you so much for visiting with me. I enjoyed it. Running my mouth. Whew. Whatever you do, serve God. Serve people. Love God. Love people. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.